Welcome back. If you're a fan of buffalo chicken dip, then you'll love the flavors of this vegan buffalo cauliflower dip. I'm excited to taste mm, test. So mine showing us this so good. quick recipe is Emily with Lucid Bakery. So Thank you. I've already done some taste testing mm -hmm. of some of the products you have. So let's walk yes. through this. Yeah, so this recipe is great for three reasons because it's gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, dairy-free, egg-free. So it's hard to find someone that can't eat this. Check, check, For check, your check. New Year's party, for your Super Bowl party, for any party, just eating at home. Mm -hmm. Or also, it's also really secretly kind of healthy because it's loaded with mm -hmm. vegetables and chickpeas and cashews, cauliflower, obviously. So it's actually great for lowering your risk of heart disease and diabetes. And just don't fiber. tell your guests that. No, I mean, yeah, you can't tell that it's healthy. Just be like, here, it's a buffalo dip. Uh-huh. And then there you can eat more of it. And then you can eat more, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it's super, health, or super easy, too. You can make it with a food processor or a blender. I brought my super awesome favorite toy of the kitchen that I have. Um, and let's get started. We basically okay, just yeah. dump everything in here, and then we'll add the, ca or actually, we'll add the cauliflower last for a little extra little crunch in okay. our... And our so that kind of replaces what we'd think of as the chicken. The chicken, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, okay. Actually, one of my other favorite recipes is if you batter cauliflower and then fry it, oh, load it up with this awesome yeah. Frank's mm -hmm. Red Hot Sauce. Really good. Then you have a vegan, can be gluten free chicken I wing. I love that. That's what I've done before too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's healthier. It's, and like it's it. actually, yeah, it's so, actually healthy yeah. for you too. And I love this stuff too, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I lived in mm -hmm. Buffalo for a hot Frank minute that. and they had it on their diner tables like salt and pepper. Like it is a staple. And it's called chicken wings, people, not chicken buffalo wings. wings. Yeah, they can tell if you're a tourist and you call wings. them buffalo wings in Buffalo. So. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So let's get started then. What All right, let's add, some, let's add some chickpeas. It kind of makes it almost like a hummus. Ooh. And then the secret ingredient is soaked cashews, which is a great dairy substitute. Um, because it's actually really creamy when you blend it up. So I made cheese balls out of it. I made mac and cheese out of it and all sorts of good. It's kind. different if you're used to eating crunchy cashews, but then the more you <laughs> chew it, you're like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of addicting in I a like weird this. way. All right, added my like lots of Frank hot sauce. Nutritional yeast is also kind of a cheesy flavor Ooh. without the dairy. You can find it in the bulk section. What was that? Register. Nutritional yeast. It's different from the yeast you add yeast. to bread. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So you can add it to popcorn. People get addicted to it. It's kind of crazy. Onion powder, garlic powder for some extra flavor. Okay. Lemon juice for a little zest. And I'll let you add the last ingredient. Oh, Simply look at me. Water. Look at me helping. <laughs> I know. Water. <laughs> I feel like I didn't give you guys enough to I'm do. I'm cooking. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. I don't know how to put these I, on, I and I don't yeah, want a disaster in our studio. Each food processor is different, too. Look at me try to struggle on my own food processor, too. All right, I'm gonna power it on for just five seconds. Five, four, three, two. It's like counting one. down the New Year's. All right. <laughs> That's so a let's, great idea. Exactly. Okay. We can and celebrate. then we put the cauliflower. Cauliflower. In. So this is some steamed cauliflower, already a little soft. And we're just gonna pulse it in because we don't want to cream it up. It smells so good, the buffalo. I know. Can you smell, smell the buffalo sauce? Yeah. yeah. If you've never had the Frank's buffalo sauce, it is the best it buffalo sauce It should be in your fridge there. right now. Yeah. Yes. yes. I know I have like a half-used bottle in my fridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's always half used. All right. We're we going to pulse it. Pulse it. I'm going to break down those chunks, and we're ready to put... There's still a couple big ones in there. Right, let's stir it down Emily. a little bit. Come on. <laughs> Who's the chef? Well, I just, I'm actually, I'm, yeah, you're I'm right. a food judge you're over right. here. <laughs> All right. Two more pulses. Two more pulses. I'll give it four. There we go. Did I count right? I said two there. times two, so. Oh, two times two. All right, then, now let's take our greased pan and then we'll load it up. Go. Maybe you can help me scoop it in. Thank yeah. you. I don't, is this going to fall out of there? No, you get to be in charge. Yeah. You guys are in charge. Here. All right, I'll hold it. Way for me to... Why am I? I don't know why I'm doing this with my left Teamwork. hand. Because <laughs> I'm right handed, but we're going to try it. Working together. Teamwork. All right. And you can see there's okay. kind of some chunks of cauliflower in yeah, there. Yeah, and there's a lot. It looks like it makes a lot. So it, you yeah, can feed a ton does. of people. It yeah. looks like. Should serve okay. around 10 to 12 people, depending on how hungry they are. Um, there's still some. Or one. Have to be perfect. Yeah, one <laughs> hungry Christy Larson. Uh, yes. <laughs> and Melanie. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Spread it nice. out. Nice. Yeah, spread it out. Make it and look then, pretty. Exactly. Okay. We're gonna add some tin foil and then we bake it for about 20 minutes in our 375 preheated oven. And then at the last five minutes, we broil it and it creates kind of a nice crispy top. top. Mm. So you can eat it hot or cold. The one we have today is chilled because I made it last night, refrigerated it. And Ooh. then for some extra color, 
go ahead and add some celery. Okay. Oh, little... use? Yeah. And then we'll we'll just dig in. I didn't even break plates today. What is that you're putting on top? So this Great. is just the tops of the celery yeah, leaves. So like oh. when you cut up celery and you oh, have those little like. Oh, that's what. So I, thought, add okay. little... I thought she put cilantro on it and I almost was yeah, like. Yeah, you're freaking Stop. out. Stop <laughs> the cilantro nonsense. So okay, yeah. can we try it? Yeah, I'm, go I'm ahead dying try it. to try this. All right. I'm gonna try it with a celery stick. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I, know. I took a really big bite. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good call. Okay. I know. Hopefully the chips aren't too. Free. I kind of like that too. If you don't love a lot of spicy foods, eat it with a celery because then it kind of mm -hmm. helps cool your mouth. Mm. And it's healthy again, right? This is delicious. It's so good. I love that. So it'll go fast yeah. at your party, like no doubt. Yeah, mm. definitely. Do you have any fun classes coming up? Not right now. Just with you guys. <laughs> well, I like that. You, you can keep food. cooking for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on my website, I have a newsletter where I show recipes and mm. have Facebook and Instagram where I show pretty photos of food and all that. So. Okay, right. so you can go and find her online. Mm -hmm. Find me oh. online. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to keep eating. Yeah, I'm, I'm not eating. double dipping, so I'm getting, grabbing another chip. I won't judge. I don't judge I double pile, dippers. I pile it up high enough in the beginning, is. so then it just kind of falls so when over. It's just, oops, I know. Okay. But when, it's, when it's hot, it's nice and creamy. And don't forget, we'll be putting the recipe up later today on mm. ndtoday.tv. Mm. Thank you, Emily. Thanks yes, for thank having you. me. Just. Mm. <laughs> Get in here. Oh. All right, we'll have more to come here on North Dakota Today after this. Mm.